Chicago Bound, what a killer song by the late, great Jimmy Rogers. Um, on this CD, you'll find songs featuring Big Walter Horton and Little Walter Horton. And at first I was thinking this was Big Walter, but when you listen to it, it's clear this is Little Walter that we're listening to on this song. Um, so I want to talk about what Walter is doing behind the vocals and teach that to you. You can check the video description to get right to these harmonica parts. But let's try this on an A harp. I just played it in the intro there. Um, this is a wonderful thing to practice because it's going to get your breath control evened out. You're really going to have to pace yourself with regards to how much air you're using. And it's giving you that awesome practice on these bends. So the first line on the one chord, just check the video description. And you can kind of tweak how you want to play it, but I'm playing two draw, three draw, four bend, four draw, four bend. Sometimes I release the bend again to the draw. Sometimes I just leave it at the bend at the end. And then on the four chord, one blow, two blow, two full step bend, and two half. So you've got to put those together. You've got to play the one chord line four times, head to the four chord and play it twice, then get back to the one chord line and play that twice. And on the five chord, we're going to play it once. It goes like this. And you can kind of play with, around with, again, how you want to play it exactly, but I'm playing one draw, two half step bend, three full step bend, and I'm lifting it a little probably towards that half step bend and back to the full step. Four chord after that. Back to the one. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing to practice for those reasons that I outlined before. So check out the song Chicago Bound by Jimmy Reed. I don't know, Jimmy Reed, Jimmy Rogers rather. Um, make sure you're listening to the original version. He did cut uh, a, a version of this with Kim Wilson on harmonica off the CD Ludella. So you'll know, you'll hear the difference. That's more high fidelity, the sound of that. And you'll, you should know that the one from Chess would be uh, the one that where Jimmy Rogers recorded uh, this original track on. Uh, so practice it. I'll put on all of my, I only have two, but I'll put my Big Walter classes on sale. You can check the video description uh, for Big Walter and Little Walter. Sorry, I said Big Walter, but I'm going to do both because both these artists are featured on the CD. So if you want to dig into Little Walter and Big Walter, check the video description for any and all classes that I have available on those players. So on that note, I'm just going to play it a few times on the way out. And again, one other benefit to practicing this is that it's really targeting those sweet spots on the one, four, and five where you can really focus your attention when you're learning how to improvise. <laughs> 